here with a new video on 4.1.1 Jelly Bean for the Samsung Captivate. This ROM has been ported over from the i9000, the International Galaxy S, and um, XDA developers has been able to port it over to the Captivate. Mostly everything is fully functional. Um, there has been a few, there has been a couple Bugs I've noticed, uh, like something's not being smooth. Project Butter hasn't been, hasn't been completely worked uh, to its full potential yet, but it is much smoother than ICS on the uh, Captivate, as you can see right there. Just the animations are just very fluid, very smooth, and this is this is just this is a very uh, alpha experimental ROM. But most things are functional. Calls work, the microphone works. Um, Wi-Fi works well. The battery life has been actually pretty nice. Uh, I think there's a bit of an upgrade from uh, ICS. Um, data works. I don't have a SIM card in there right now. But as you can see right there, you get signal. Um, and uh, Bluetooth works. GPS works. Pretty much everything. Auto brightness even works, uh, as I've noticed. Uh, and, you know nothing, barely anything uh, you'll have problems with. So, this is completely stock jelly bean, no CM10, which is the new version of Cyan Jamad or anything, really, has, that has been installed in here. Um, but I was going to demo for you a couple of the new features. So, uh, the, one of the big new features on jelly bean is the notification center, which is Google's calling it, not the notification bar, notification center. And you just drag down from the top, just like any other version of Android, but you'll notice there's no, you know, this is pretty much a completely separate part of uh, Android. There's no, there's no transparency like there was on ICS or anything, so you don't see anything behind it. So this is pretty much a separate element um, to your phone, which is kind of funny. And as you see, it kind of goes over everything when you go back up. So I think it's been reworked to its full potential, and it and it's really nice. So when you scroll down, uh, again, you'll get no transparency to it. You got your date and time right there, which is really nice. I like the, the way that's uh, formatted there. And you get your settings as well as um, a button to clear all notifications. But I only have one on now because I just installed a game just to see how games run. Um, you can get to your settings right from here. So when we go in our settings, again, very smooth. I like the animations. Um, oh, sorry, I clicked on the game. Um, settings, very smooth animations, and um, it does not, the settings does not look anything like, anything different, sorry, than ICS uh, for the most part. The toggles are a little bit different, that's another theme change I've noticed, uh, and you also get this little accounts tab down here with your Google account, and you can add more accounts to your uh, corporate email or Google account, which I, I like that makes it easier. Developer options, pretty much the same thing. Uh, about phone, you can see that we are running 4.1.1 Jelly Bean, and you will get the Jelly Bean Easter Egg, where you can hold down, and you get Jelly Beans. Yay! It's like Jelly Beans off the screen. Um, so, that's something that we've seen in uh, test builds and of jelly bean and whatnot. Um, so there, you, there you have it for that. Um, something else that is new is, uh, of course, voice search, which is basically Siri, but it's been revamped to work more like Siri, not not just voice search and voice commands and stuff. It's a little more deeply integrated, sort of like Siri is for uh, iOS. Google Now, I have it set off right now, but if you turn it on, it looks like that. You'll get a bunch of cards. Sure, I'll turn it on. Uh, you get a bunch of sample cards. Um, you get a bunch of sample cards uh, that look like this. You can hit, you know, um, weather, traffic, 
Let's show you one of the sample card. So it'll show you where you are. I'll say you're 80 minutes from home uh, in certain situations, which I think is really cool. Google now is a very new, very interesting uh, new feature they put in here that has not really been used in any other OS as far as I know. Um, and since it's Google, they can perfect it as much as they want. And uh, I'm really looking forward to this. So that is Google Now. And when you search something, uh, you should see a card come up. So let me search something right now. Show me pictures of the Samsung Captivate. And you'll get a bunch of pictures like that. Very cool, very cool. And it eliminates one step into going into Google and hitting images and stuff. And get them right there. And uh, you can see. Very, very cool. So that is voice search and the new Google search that has uh, been worked in here. And another cool new thing is when you hold down a widget, everything will move out of the way so you can put it down. All the apps will move out of the way so you can find a space, which no other previous iteration of Android had that. So I think it's very cool. I don't know why they didn't, but um, you know, I can't draw because I don't have an account yet, but I don't know why they didn't have that before. And as you'll see, if you go to the Play Store, you will see uh, your magazines. You can get magazines now. So that's a new thing. Um, Besides that, you know, there's not much else that Google's added except just very smooth fluidity you know, throughout the OS. And games have also run run better, uh, even on this older older device. So I think that pretty much concludes it for the uh, Jelly Bean review of 4.1.1 on the Samsung Captivate. Before you guys go, I want to show you something very cool that I just picked up on Amazon. It is a USB. OTG cable. It allows you to plug in um, a USB device to your Android phone just using the uh, micro USB slot at the top right there uh, and you can plug in your um, OTG cable to that and plug in any USB device which I think is very cool. You can plug in your I don't know, you can plug in your uh, mouse, keyboard even a uh, flash drive and you can access the files from your phone. So I'll put a link of that in the description so you guys can check it out on Amazon. It goes for about six bucks with shipping at most. Um, but if you get it from China, which I wouldn't recommend, um, it's really cheap. But I'll put a link for the USA version. <laughs> and uh, see you guys in the next video.